Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little grease trap for your kitchen sink and it's also to collect any food particles before it actually goes into the drain. So the whole idea is to stop the oil and the food particles at the source. First thing I'm going to do is just cut this so I can open it but I want to leave one side on so I can close it again. There you go. Just get rid of all this plastic stuff. Okay. So at least I can open it and then close it again. The water's gonna come from here, yeah? This is gonna be like this. So then every day I can just take out the food particles at the source. So this is just a one to five millimeter pipe, reduced to 90, reduced to 50, which is the thickness of that. And this should be quite a tight fit. Yeah, this should be able to get it in there. So that's the intake. I'm hoping this video will help you to do this with whatever container you have. Just so for the hole, just make sure that it's totally flat because otherwise it'll leak. Like you wouldn't want to put it here, obviously. <laughs> Okay, nice and clean. Make sure you get any pieces of plastic out just so it doesn't disrupt the rubber that you're gonna put in. So now this can go in there. Yeah. In there. Tighten this up. Okay, that seems tight enough, but before we carry on making too much of the works, so we'll just make sure that it's all watertight. Now over here, all I have is the connector to go with that so it's a screw and then the rest is just normal piping which I've PVC glued together so I've got a uh, 90 bend 90 bend 90 bend now so that's going there okay what you have to be careful of is this piece of pipe here so you want the water level to be about there so you want to leave enough space for wherever your intake is. So the intake has to be higher than that level, okay? So mine is coming from the top here and that the level will be at this point. So that's around here. So there's plenty of place for it to come in and, and then come out of there. So if you have the intake from here, just make sure that this level is lower than the intake. Okay, so now to put this in here. It's a bit tight, so what you can do... Yeah. I could cut this off to make the hole bigger for it to fit nicely, but I do want it to fit tight. So what I'm going to do is heat this up, and then it should get in. So now we can fill it up. Just make sure you put, put it on a level piece of foundation. I just put the cinder block here. So that'll be like that. So now I need to do the hole for, the, for where the oil comes out from. So it's another one of these, the same as these things with the rubber, but it's a 25 mil. So I, I wanna have this this over here where the oil can come out a couple of millimeters above the water line so I'll wait for that to stop let's take this out so that's all the food particles we're getting them before they go into the system which is awesome this hole the higher you do it above the water line, the more grease will be just sitting here. So I don't want too much of that, so I want to try and go as close as possible. But you don't want it too low, because otherwise when you fill it with water, um, till it goes through the system, it kind of comes up a couple of millimetres, the water level. So you don't want your oil bottle getting filled with water. So it's better if you're going to do the hole, do it slightly higher than lower, because at least if it's higher, you can maybe put a wedge underneath the bucket and raise it a bit, just so you don't get the water. 
But anyway, now I'll show you. So first thing is to see where the water level is. Okay, so the water level is exactly at this line here. To make sure that it's flat, the same as the other one here. And I'm gonna put it the furthest away from the intake. From the intake. Because if you had it here, the water coming down might upset everything and it'll push the oil away from where you want it to go. It's maybe three millimeters above the water line. So all I have to do now is connect this elbow. It's a screw connector for the oil to come out of. Okay, so all that's left now that I have this connected for the oil, which should skim off the top, is to see is when I run the tap, because the water does rise slightly when, you're, when it's filling, if any water comes into this bottle. Now, if it does, it's not a big deal. You can adjust this by using some wedges and just raising whichever side you need to, depending where you put the hole for it to stop. So then as soon as the water stops, you know that the water, the oil that's sitting on top when it will have oil eventually, um, will be able to float off into the, through, down this pipe. So let's open the tap. Okay, it started to come out of here. Let's see where the water line is. It's right on the edge, which is perfect. I don't want too much oils permanently sitting on the water there. There's a couple of drops of water. So I think I'll just, like I told you, put a couple of wedges. Now if I raise this side, the water level is gonna go down because this is gonna go down. So that should limit the amount of little drops of water that should come out. Let's see. Looks like it dropped slightly, so I think that's perfect. Alrighty, so now that I know that it's all watertight, it's all hooked up there, and there's no water coming into my oil container, it should work. So I can basically set the end of the of the pipe to go into the veggie garden. So I'm going to do that now. Empty the plug, please. Okay. And you can see the water level here. It's right at the tip, so the oil floating on the surface will go out into the bottle. Okay, so that was a success. I've only we've only been using it for five six days now. Um, so if you want to follow our vlog at Luke and Sarah's Off Grid Life. We upload videos every week um, and we'll probably give an update if hopefully nothing will go wrong but if it does we'll let you know there <laughs> and uh, i hope um, this will help some of you out if you're trying to build a grease trap for your off-grid cabin or whatever uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe take it easy and i'll see you next time bye